What's up y'all, this is Alex from Eastside Music School and today I wanted to do a quick video on two note per string arpeggios. I think this is a great way to outline changes and it's a lot easier to memorize than some of the more traditional arpeggio shapes you might know for guitar. Um, but first, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. So um, if you've learned arpeggios, you've probably learned patterns based off of maybe like the major scale shape, something like this. major seven. And that's great. Um, it's, a, it's a one position pattern. You can move it around, play it in different keys. Um, but it's it's kind of challenging to memorize because it's a lot of information, uh, something different on every string. So I devised a way to consolidate that to just uh, two note per string uh, patterns. And uh, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about and then we can jump into what's going on. So for C major seven, for example, I might play something like this. Right? Uh, for a minor seven, right? A dominant. Okay? And um, those are just off the root, but there's a way you could do this off of any chord tone, uh, starting off of any chord tone in the arpeggio. So let's look at what's going on. Uh, basically, we're playing two notes per string, starting on the root. I'm going up a major third, then I'm going up a minor third to the fifth up a major third to the seventh, and then I start the pattern over on the root. Okay? Root, third, fifth, seven, root, third, fifth, seven, root, third, and so on. Um, and so basically every two strings this pattern starts over. Um, same with, uh, let's do a minor. So root, minor third, up a major third to the fifth, minor third to the flat seven, start over, root, third, and so on, right? So uh, maybe if I was gonna outline the changes to something like Autumn Leaves, it would look like this. Okay, um, that's great. But you notice that I am jumping around a lot. So what you could do is, uh, voice lead, or really try and move only as far as you need to to get to the next arpeggio pattern. Uh, for example, this would be uh, A minor 7. Now on D, rather than go to the root, I'm going to start on the 5th of the D7 chord. So 5th, flat 7, now I'm to the root. Right? For the G major, I can go down to root. For the C now, instead of starting on the root, I'm going to start on the fifth of the C. All right? For the F sharp, start on the root. For the B, I can start on the fifth. And finally the E minor, maybe I'll move up because I'm running out of room. Okay. Uh, you could start on a different chord tone. You can still do a two note per string pattern, but starting on, let's say, the third. So A minor seven. Right? D seven, start on maybe the seventh. G major, start on the third. C major seven, start on the seventh. Okay, uh, so as you can see, this is a great way to get some really um, easy to memorize patterns into your playing and to get some sounds that you might not usually get using arpeggios. Um, if you have any questions on this, please feel free to reach out and hit us up at eastsidemusic.com. And I'm always curious to hear what you guys come up with. Thanks and have a great day.